I think at this point, all anybody is talking about is the quarterback race at Auburn. And uh, I've gone back and forth on this a couple of different ways. And um, for the most part, I think I bought into a lot of the hype around Zach Calzada. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've uh, made multiple videos, including one recently, saying that I thought he was going to be the starter. But when you get new information, I do believe that you should go and uh, correct yourself or correct your thinking or update your opinion. And in this situation for me, I am updating my opinion on something I said recently. So I, uh, I have said multiple times I thought Zach Calzada was going to be the starter. And I believe that pretty recently up until this past weekend. And uh, the reason for my change in thoughts or the change in my opinion is it's, it's very similar or the same to a lot of what a lot of other people are thinking. And that is what has come to us from these practices and from this uh, scrimmage and what we've seen on video. Um, I, I'm kind of of the perception that uh, a couple of things may be going on with Zach Calzada. Either one, he's, he's still hurt or he's still, uh, he's still recovering from the, the surgery he had from that injury. Um, that's a possibility because, you know, he missed all spring. Um, the, the other thought I'm having is that because he did miss spring, he missed a day, he missed those spring, you know, practices and all that kind of stuff. He, uh, he did not have the same amount of time to learn the playbook, uh, to learn the expectations. And so he's pretty far behind the other guys. Uh, I, I think this is the current order based on what I've seen and what a lot of other people have seen. I think TJ Finley is the current starter. I think he's QB one. And, um, and, and I've had different feelings on this, but ultimately I do think that the coaches are going to put the best person out there. And uh, one thing I've had to change my thought process on is I've been used to Gus Malzahn in the way of how we develop quarterbacks in the past. And the, and the fact is the way we develop quarterbacks in the past at Auburn is we, we did not develop them. We got them the way they were. And if they were good on day one, they were going to be good until they left Auburn. But if they did not come to us with that skill set, we did not improve and develop quarterbacks. And that was you know, an inherent flaw of the Auburn program in the past. So I've been in that mindset. I've been in that thought process that if we get a quarterback, however good they are, that uh, when they come to us is how good they're going to be. And so uh, I understand the, the concern people have with TJ Finley based on some games we saw last year. But you have to remember a lot of factors go into that. Think about the time he came into those uh, into those games. He came in during a very hectic period. Bo Nix was hurt, and those were some high-pressure games to come into. And we had some other problems on the team outside of, uh, outside of quarterback. We had some other issues going on that could have affected some of that gameplay. Ultimately, I do think he underperformed uh, you know, in the end. I think he underperformed compared to what we expected, and uh, and there's a lot to be said for that. But at the same time, as a fan base, we we should also expect that our coaches are going to improve and develop players, and that's that's a new mindset for me. That's something I've got to get used to thinking about because it hasn't happened, especially at the quarterback position. So um, I, I do believe that. Brian Harson is, as a former quarterback and with what he's done at Boise State, I think he has that ability to develop quarterbacks and to help them improve upon their play. And just look at the comments that Brian Harson made after the first scrimmage. I'm going to play uh, his comments, just one section, and I want to play the section where he talks about TJ Finley, and then we're going to discuss TJ Finley a little further because I do believe, I want to put this out there, I'm updating my opinion, and I'm agreeing with a lot of other people. It does appear like TJ Finley is going to be QB1. And I put this out on Twitter, but we need to get behind this decision before it's even announced because there's going to be some people who are not happy about it. But we have to be of the mindset that the coaches know what they're doing and they're going to put the best people out there. That's that's the only thing that makes sense. So before we go any further... Let's take a look at this clip of Brian Harson talking about TJ Finley after the first scrimmage. 
Now, I've always been impressed with TJ as far as just his command. He understands. He, he's very much like a coach on the field. He understands what we're trying to accomplish. I think he's conceptually picks things up very quickly, um, listens to the details and all little nuances of plays and, and what everybody's supposed to be doing. If there's a coaching point made, not just for him, but anybody, he'll remember that coaching point and be able to echo it whenever it comes up or remind guys, you know, and doesn't have to be a coach, which you appreciate. So there's just a lot of, I think, um, uh, let me say this, he's got a really good understanding of what we're trying to accomplish, all right, and he listens to those things. So uh, I appreciate that. I thought tonight he was good, um, led the team down the field. Uh, I think he executed well when he needed to in some critical moments, um, can improve in just kind of some of the, the easier throws that, that we didn't complete tonight. Um, don't know if that was him or not, but I think there's some things that we can improve in those areas just from an accuracy standpoint. But overall, I thought he operated well. I want you to think about what you just heard Coach Harson say. TJ Finley is doing a lot of the stuff right that they are looking for as coaches. He is a coach on the field. That's a huge one because what that means is that TJ Finley is able to go out there. He knows uh, what the coaches are wanting, and he's able to – manage the players on the field to get, to get the outcome that the coaches are expecting. They said he's uh, he's paying attention to the details. That's huge. You know how big Harson is on details. So if TJ Finley is able to pick up on those small things, he's able to pick up on, I think the example uh, that was given was uh, if a running back uh, lined up on the wrong side, would the quarterback know that he's on the wrong side and be able to correct that and get him on the correct side? That's uh, a detail that Harson's talking about and being able to coach and uh, help out the players who were out there. And then the other thing I noticed that Harson said that I thought was a big deal is that he said that TJ really has an understanding of what we're trying to do. That language, that language that's coming from uh, Coach Harson in that moment should tell you all you need to know. If he has a very firm understanding of what we're trying to do. That means Coach Harson is basically saying, he's my guy. That's my guy. He understands what I'm trying to accomplish with, with this team. And I'm going to use somebody on my team, on this team, that's going to help me reach my goal, that's going to help me reach our goal. So uh, it sounds like TJ in the offseason has done the work. Um, it, it's very evident that he's he's done the things he's needed to do to impress the coaches, to show that he is the guy that can get out there and command the team, command the field. And uh, by all accounts, it sounds like he's won the job. So I will not be surprised if by this Friday or at the, at the latest next week, we get the announcement that TJ Finley has been uh, selected as uh, QB1. And when that happens... Everybody get out there and support the guy. Get in line, support the guy, show him that, what uh, what Auburn's all about. Even if you're disappointed, just, just kind of keep your mouth shut for a little bit. Um, assume there's something that the coaches know that you don't. Uh, otherwise, you might be the coach. But since you're not the coach, be quiet. It's okay. You don't have to put every opinion out there. Um, and in this case... <laughs> Yes, I know what you saw last season. I saw the same thing. But we have to, as a fan base, we have to be willing to accept that you can improve. As a player, you can improve. You can listen to the coaching points that are given to you. You can uh, take those coaching points, follow them, put the work in, and ultimately be rewarded for all those things. And, and the truth is, if TJ Finley has done all that stuff, He's put in the work, he's made the improvements, and he's got the command of the locker room. The truth is, he's the guy. So if Coach Harson is seeing something in TJ Finley that you're not, trust him and trust that we're going to see it eventually if you don't see it yet. I'm already seeing that some of you are coming around and I'm coming around myself. Uh, I I think TJ Finley is going to be a good quarterback for Auburn. I truly believe that. Now, all that being said, I'm not changing my mind on something else I've said. I do think Robbie Ashford has something very special to offer. I do think he's going to get some playing time. 
Uh, the question mark for me now is I, I have no idea what's going on with Zach Calzada. So I have, I'm taking my opinion on Calzada completely off the table for a little bit because I have no clue what to think about him. It, something odd is going on. I don't know if he's hurt or just not performing as well as we thought he was. Uh, I bought into the hype. But for right now, I'm just setting Calzada to the side because I don't know what to say. But uh, I stand by what I said that Robbie Ashford has uh, a chance to play and get some significant playing time. And there's always a chance that he could be the starter eventually because you never know what's going to happen. But for right now, I think TJ Finley is the guy. I think he is going to, uh, or he has already won the team. He's uh, won the locker room. And as evidenced by what Coach Harson said, he's won the coaches too. So when we get that announcement that, TJ Finley's QB1. Let's get out there on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Show our love, show our support, and ultimately have an awesome start to the season. And then let's just give it time. Give the coaches time. Give the players time. And let's just enjoy this sport that we all we all watch and talk about and, uh, and, just, and just have a good time with. Uh, that's all I've got for this one. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. War Eagle.